Hey, this is Rob. I'm with Home Tech Specialist. Uh, I thought I'd give you a tour of my home network here. I've been watching a lot of videos regarding people's networks, what they do, kind of trying to get some ideas and that kind of thing, which I did. And anyway, I, I also do this for a living. I, I work on networks and um, home theater and all kinds of home technology equipment and systems. I just recently did mine. I just thought I would give you a tour of what I've done and actually I have some pictures of the original uh, structured cable box that I started with and I thought I would just show, if I can find it I'll put it in the video here and show you what it looked like before I started. Um, basically kind of coming into the closet here where I have it. It's not, no, no fancy server racks or anything. We just have a uh, structured cable box in the closet and that has got everything in it home automation networking security everything so I'm gonna go ahead and take the cap off here and we'll show you what we got inside alright so here we go this is a little view of the whole thing you know it looks kind of involved and complicated but it's really not so let me just show you what I've done we'll start at the top here uh, this module is a patch panel more or less I kind of made it into a patch panel that's not how it started it kind of started as one of these guys here I just popped out the uh, connections and, and put in these but it's basically all the it's going to all the rooms in the home and then of course from here it's coming down to the to the switch so um, these numbers up here will coincide with numbers that are on the face plates in each of the each of the rooms and throughout the house that so you can find the room you're looking for and or find the connection you're looking for from the room so it works either way uh, the next module here uh, these two rows are just phone they it's like a splitter it's just phone and same below here this is just coax on a splitter so it all has the same signal coming out of it um, I don't have cable or satellite so I just use this for antenna distribution I have a antenna up in the attic which comes down and and gets amplified in this unit here and then once it comes out of the amplifier it just comes back up into the splitter and that goes out to the rooms and you can tell here that I've got all these different rooms that I'm not using I don't have TVs in or whatever for whatever reason I'm not using them so I just keep them all uh, kind of grouped over there to the side out of the way and right below here uh, sort of ignoring this guy for a second this is just a switch 24 port gigabit switch it's a TP link um, nothing fancy got off of Amazon um, but it's gigabit and I that was one of the things I did with my network is upgraded everything to gigabit to keep my network running as fast as possible in my LAN inside the house so that's what that is this little unit that's on top here is a um, interface for the garage door opener I have a Chamberlain garage door opener that uh, allows me to plug this into the network and have access to it remotely through my phone I can open it close it check status I can set programs to it so it can close on its own if I leave it open or it can notify me that it's been open or whatever you want to do there's a lot of different programs for the the Chamberlain uh, LiftMaster which is a great if you're looking at having to redo your uh, your garage door that's the guy to go with down here let's see we got this is a PoE injector so these are the gray ones are my um, cameras coming in I got security cameras on the outside those are coming in to this injector which powers them um, PoE IP cameras do not require it, uh, you know the data cable is the power so it doesn't need two cables like an analog camera does to go to the to the DVR where you'd have power and the video coming in separately these are all coming in one cable and then coming the once it gets powered by this unit then uh, the data 
comes back up through these lines into the network. Once it's in the network, the NVR, Network Video Recorder, works like a DVR, but they call it an NVR, uh, that will pick it up off the network and be able to record so and display of course so you don't have so you don't have to have the cameras plugged straight into a DVR they can go onto the network and then the network will then send it to the the NVR those are kind of the wave of the future that's why if you go look on Amazon right now you'll find or anywhere you'll find that these uh, analog camera systems um, using when I say analog, I'm talking these are ones that use coax cable and a power cable. They're usually bound together to go to each of the cameras. And those systems are, they're getting phased out. That's why they're cheap. You can find them for dirt cheap, and that's why. Because they're kind of an old technology that they're going to stop using. So moving on, we're on to the modem. This is a CenturyLink modem. As you'll see there, it says Quest. Uh, because that's I've had it. This is how long I've had it <laughs> before Quest became CenturyLink. This used to be well, it is a wireless modem, so I can do my wireless network with it. I don't do that anymore. In fact, it used to have a couple antennas on it, and the you know these things were just uh, screwed into the back of it, and I had to keep it up on top of my. Um, shelf I couldn't put it inside this box because obviously it has to be out to be able to send its wireless signal what I ended up doing is I got wireless access points so that's what these guys are there's two of them here that are taped together and those go to the access points that I have throughout the house to give us good you know coverage on wireless uh, absolutely love having that not only the fact that we have such good wireless now but I can put the modem back into the box here so we don't have to look at it um, and then below that it was just the power that powers all this stuff and so this unit right here this is for my home automation system so this controls the lighting uh, this is a UPB uh, control interface and then behind it is an X10 control interface which is what I started with was X10 but I'm starting to move over to UPB so right now I'm using both and that is all within the home automation security system which I will show you that right here this box it says Leviton Leviton is what it's called now well I guess Leviton has been around but uh, this used to be H HAI was the was the brand but the system in it is an Omni system this one is the Omni LTE right there um, which that's something I did upgrade in fact over here in my little junk pile this was the Omni LT this is the unit that I replaced so this thing actually was inside of this box here mounted in there and once I put all this other stuff in and then got the LTE which is definitely a bigger board I just couldn't fit it so I went ahead and put it inside of this box here actually it came with this box so um, normally if I had more room like if I had say uh, like a 52 inch panel here where I could fit everything I'd probably just put it inside but I couldn't so so this controls all the home automation and security. All my doors and windows contacts are all here in the zone contacts. All this cable here, a lot of it is, is extra. These are things that have been wired that are not being used. So I've got room to grow in the future. Um, up here at the top, we've got a connection into my uh, network as well as phone lines. So the phone line works with this unit in the sense that it will uh, it'll notify me I can it will actually I can have it call me and notify me if for instance I have a program in it that tells me if the power goes out so if the power goes out it will run off of the battery of course you don't need a power to run um, a landline so it will just use the battery to power the board the board will then get on the phone and call me and it'll tell me that my power's out 
So that's a fantastic feature, one of my favorites of this, but it'll tell me anything, including if I'm getting broken into or any alarm has gone off, including a fire alarm. So if my smoke detectors go off, it will call me and tell me that. It's a very involved system, so I'd be happy to, if you have questions or if you have one of these units, um, let me know in the comments and I will you know it will require its own video because they're pretty involved between what you're looking at here is just the hardware side of it uh, but then there's there's software to set it up program it and then app there's an app you can use to monitor and uh, get notified for different things so you know it's a very involved unit but it's really good and it uh, using the X10 or the UPB um, lighting control you can actually have it it's using its own um, you're using the house's uh, power lines to send the signals all of these little wires in here are being ran to uh, security zones like uh, motion detectors door contact window contacts uh, that sort of thing garage door contacts so that's what that's set up for so basically that is it and when it comes, I will say when it comes out of here, uh, the other one thing that I'm doing, and I'll just take you into my office so I can show you the, uh, in my office here, I've got a couple computers, but on top of this one, you can see I've got another switch. Now, of course, this is a gigabit switch. If you are going to upgrade to gigabit, you got to do all your switches. So of course, the big one that you saw in the box that is one you got to do, uh, the main one. But then if you have other stuff plugged into um, to switches in other rooms, you have to do them all to gigabit. Otherwise, they bottlenecks and it, and it won't go to full gigabit speed. So I've got a couple PCs that are uh, con connected into this. And then the other thing is this unit here. This is a W. Uh, WD, which is Western Digital, my cloud. So this is like a two terabyte network drive that's uh, that works as a, ser a media server. I can watch videos and such on any of my internal TVs on the network. Like mm, Roku, my Roku can pick it up and and play any of the any of the media on here. So that's another great part of my network that I love. I also have a network diagram that is more or less kind of shows you what what all I have on my system and how it's connected, what what uh, uh, what lines it goes through, what switches everything goes to. It's it's a more or less a flow chart for a network. So if I can find that, I'll put here. I'll put it on the video, and you can take a look. Like I said, if you have questions, absolutely let me know. Um, if it's something I can answer, I will. If not, I'm, or if it's too involved, I may just make another video. I'd, I'd like to get some videos on this channel that are uh, network and technology related, inform, informative, that may help people uh, along with the help that I got trying to put all this stuff together and, and learn about some of the parts of it that I wasn't real clear on or didn't, you know, maybe just didn't have a good idea of uh, what direction I wanted to go with it and that's where gosh when you watch these videos they're great if my video didn't show you what you're looking for keep looking there's a ton of these out on the net on uh, on YouTube and you can probably find what you're looking for if somebody who's doing exactly what you thought and like I said if you are a Leviton HAI Omni owner um, again there's not much information on YouTube regarding these units or in these systems so if you uh, have questions you know absolutely uh, if I can help I will um, or be able to even point you in the right direction to find find the answers so that's it for now thanks a lot and hopefully this wasn't too long but if it was sorry see you next time